Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another coin review and this time we're looking at the Spanish 5 pesetas coin from the reign of Amadeo I. These coins are also known locally as the Duros of 1871. Let's first go over the specifications of the coin. These coins were minted between 1871 and 1875 by the Madrid Mint and have a purity of 900 which means that from its total weight of 25 grams 22.5 or approximately 0.73 troy ounces is pure silver. The diameter of the coin is 37 millimeters and the thickness is 2 millimeters. It was in circulation from 1871 until 1939. On the obverse of the coin we have the bust of Amadeo I, a king with an interesting albeit short reign at a crucial time in Spanish history. Amadeo was actually an Italian prince from the house of Savoy in the northwest of Italy and was the first and only king of Spain to come from this house. He was actually elected king of Spain by the Cortes General, which is the Spanish parliament, on the 16th of November 1870, as he was a descendant of two previous Spanish kings, Philip II on his father's side and Charles III on his mother's side. He then traveled to Spain and was sworn in on the 2nd of January 1871. Unfortunately for our young king, his tenure came at a time when the Spanish Empire was in full collapse and his short reign was marked by sectarianism, conspiracies, uprisings in the Basque Country and Catalonia, a separatist movement in Cuba and assassination attempts. On the 11th of February 1873, young Amadeo finally had enough of Spain and abdicated his throne and on the same day the first Spanish Republic was proclaimed. Looking at the bust um, we can see he's facing left and at the bottom of it right here we can find engraved the letters L.M which stand for Luis Marchioni which is Luis Marchioni Hombron an engraver with the Madrid Mint at the time. To the left of his bust we can find the words Amadeo First Ray which of course mean Amadeo the first king and to the right we can find the words de España which means of Spain. Below the bust we can find the year 1871 engraved and two stars to the left and the right. Despite what you might be tempted to assume this is not the year of mintage of the coin but the year of coronation of Amadeo the first. The actual year of mintage can be seen by looking closely inside the two little stars to the sides of the year. So these two. I'll post some pictures at the end in case this is not visible on the video. The rarest coins are those from 1873 with about 46,000 of them minted and the most common are those from 1871, 1874 and 1875 like this one here. In total, about 20 million of these coins were made by the Real Casa de la Moneda, which is the Royal Mint of Spain. Moving on to the reverse of the coin, this is dominated by the Spanish coat of arms of Amadeo I. At the top, we can find the Spanish royal crown resting at the top of the shield. Flanking the shield are the two pillars of Hercules, which represent the Straits of Gibraltar. On each pillar, there is a ribbon and the ribbons are inscribed with the Latin motto plus ultra, meaning further beyond, in reference to the new world existing past the pillars of Gibraltar, so in reference to America. An interesting theory is that these pillars are actually the origin of one of the most well-known symbols of the modern age, namely the US dollar sign. I will do another video on the intimate relation between the Spanish currency and the early American one. Moving to the interior of the shield itself, we can find the symbols of Castile, represented by the castle here, Leon, by the lion, Aragon, with its striped flag, and the golden chains of Navarra. And at the base, um, barely visible there, let me see if I can zoom in just a bit, is actually a pomegranate flower which represents Granada. Now in the center you will find the flag of Savoy which is the house of the king. On the left side of the coat of arms we can find the inscription Ley 900 millesimas 
which represents the purity of the coin, confirming that it is made of 900 parts of silver in 1000 parts. And on the right side, we can find the words 40 piezas in kilog, which refers to there being 40 pieces in a kilogram, from which we can deduce that the weight is 25 grams. Below that, we can find the face value of the coin, which is 5 pesetas. And to the light, right and the left, we can find the initials of the Madrid Mint Assayers, Eduardo Diaz Pimienta and Julio de Escosura Tablares. Moving on to the edge of the coin, we can find a pattern of stars and we will also find the inscription Justicia y Libertad, meaning justice and liberty. As always, I would like to thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to this beautiful coin. Please like and subscribe if you want to help out the channel and leave me questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you and happy stacking. Now enjoy a few photos of the coins.